Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. So oh, wait, that was 2XO. <laughs> huh? <laughs> 2XO? You said welcome back, I said welcome back. Remember we did that in the 2XO episode? No, I don't, <laughs> but then again I'm getting old. Welcome back, welcome back. Because 2XO. But we're not talking about 2XO today. What are we talking about, Mike? We are talking about Grumpy Coach. Grumpy Coach, yes. So Who's we have Grumpy a... Coach, Mike? <laughs> so Grumpy Coach <laughs> is our affectionate name for our friend Jeff, who is my um, uh, coaching, uh, ice hockey coaching buddy. So he and his wife are moving down to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a while back, they went down to Tennessee to, to look for their property. And um, while they were down there, they stopped at a bunch of liquor stores and uh, asked, we've got a friend who's in, in the bourbon, what, what do you have that he won't find up in Indiana? So the guy said, here. Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> so he that... brought this back as a gift for us. And it is a, it's called King Snake. It's a two year single barrel straight bourbon whiskey coming in at 117 proof 117 proof and two years yep and it's it's bottled in so i think it says severalville kind of reminds me of like down in pensacola area severalville restaurant or something like that so we we could be butchering it completely yeah. but let's be honest so the bottle doesn't say where it's distilled at, although I'm assuming it's Tennessee because it's Tennessee, but um, it doesn't specifically say what distillery. What do we know about that though? Tennessee whiskey. I mean, we know the Lincoln County process, right? Yeah. That's that. So it's just whiskey. It's not necessary. But so it has one extra step. It's filtered yeah. through maple wood charcoal. Is but, that always the case for Lincoln yeah, process? That's, Lincoln yeah, County that's process? it. Yeah. So technically, yeah. it's a bourbon. Yeah. I shouldn't say technically. It it's would a bourbon, be, except yeah. for that one little step. Unless but. it really isn't 51% corn, and then, yeah. you know, whatever. Anyway, right. plenty of videos out there to talk about what's a bourbon versus a whiskey. I had to finish my sentence. Okay, go. 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 Ah. Ew, it sprayed on me. Apparently, I didn't cut that. Oh, my gosh. Seriously? You totally ruined it. All right, fine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a lot. That apparently, was a lot. Apparently, you I should have clean your... drank it a little bit more. Oops. Anyway, all right. Rookie. Rookies. We are definitely rookies. We know, honestly, we know pretty much zilch about Tennessee whiskey. We we don't even know really how to spell Tennessee. Is it two N's, two S's, and two E's in it? <laughs> <laughs> or is it just TN? Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, know. so King King Snake. Got good color. I mean, it's, I mean, it's an it's amber color. Reminds definitely of, dark amber. Yeah, it reminds me of beer. Ooh, I don't know about that. What are you getting uh, in the. It's light. Light. It's, light? I don't get a lot of. I don't get a strong nose on that for 117 proof. Man, I'm getting. I know. I get a little orange, and then some ethanol. <laughs> My nose went in too deep. I'm getting a lot of tobacco. Oh, I can see that, Levi Garrett. Yep. <laughs> and it's... I always say Levi Garrett just because we had friends years ago. He would, well, my brother's little league coach would take Levi the Garrett. Guy? No, you don't know him. Levi Garrett and Bubblelicious, and he would choose them together. Every time he'd open up a Levi Garrett, I'm assuming. Other chewing tobaccos would be the same. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say. But I also was thinking orange, but I think it's more tobacco. Yeah. Interesting. It's not I, overly I, sweet. All right. Yeah, that's all I smell, though. Really. Yeah, I don't get a lot of ethanol. Now that you say that, I can't think of anything else. There's a little sweet, but... Interesting. All right, well... Since I can't smell anything else, I might as well take a sip. Mm. Cheers. Oh, cheers to Jeff. Oh, yeah. And his wife. Michelle. Did you not know her name? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a quiz. <laughs> I know you know her name. Hmm. 
I like that. Yeah. Definitely got some heat. Yeah. Not 117 proof heat. No, not uh, nah, 117. Maybe just by our standards, that 117 proof is pretty mellow. But I, if I remember... But now I'm getting the brown sugar and sweet. Mm. It that, The finish is very sweet. That's actually really good for two years. Yeah. It's I not mean, green. Normally a, a young bourbon, to me anyway... Wait, wait. Or bourbon? Tennessee, Tennessee whiskey. whiskey. Comes across yeah. as, as, as green or grassy. Yeah. This isn't anything but that. Mm. Yeah, that, no, that, that sip was funky. <laughs> oh, that went up my nose. <laughs> but, they had a nice, sweet, mentally. I always say that note is mental. Well, you they just don't have a good name for, for it, but it's... Isn't that what you always say about rye, though? No, I usually say rye is, is peppery or... Yeah. But... Oh, I mean, you can't... Yeah, it's got a, you can't a take nice... A, you can't I'm, take a strong smell of that, though, because it just... It is definitely ethanol. Yeah, the ethanol and, gets you on the on the nose, but... Yeah, that's got a sweet Wait, that's finish. That's a little popcornish there. <laughs> Popcorn. Creme, creme brulee. Mm. That's what I'm tasting. It's it's that caramelized burnt sugar that's on top of the mm. creme brulee that you got to mm -hmm. crack with your yeah. spoon and on top of the custard... Which That's I, exactly what that is. On top of tobacco. Uh -huh. Yes. With, yes. <laughs> I guess T tobacco, tobacco notes. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I think my the more I get into that, the more I like it. Mm -hmm. Jeff, I, you did a very good job. Yeah. We For, should send you down on ex excursions. Yeah. More often. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Grumpy Coach. Does, Ooh, now that's 117 to sit in my tongue. Yeah, Jeff doesn't drink. No, I just found out tonight, though. I was talking to him. And did you know he has 10 bottles of whiskey? And oh, he, wh why does he have 10 bottles of whiskey? <laughs> because he likes the bottles. <laughs> he likes the shape of the bottles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Jeff, <clears throat> we will come in and empty those bottles for you so that you can appreciate the bottle more mm -hmm. by being able to see through them easier. And just for the record, this collection right here <laughs> happens because you like the bottle or just one over here. You took a trip to the to the bourbon trail and you get sucked into the hype. So it's kind of funny that a non-drinker has 10 bottles of whiskey. <laughs> see how it starts? <laughs> yeah. However it starts, it starts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But we're glad it, we're glad it does. And, and, um, again, that's what's kind of funny to me about people who like to watch bourbon hunting videos. It's like, what is so appealing about that? Other than the fact that we find ourselves watching those kind of videos too. It's just to see what's different in those areas, you know? And I think that's why we have so many, obviously so many different ones, craft distillery type stuff or whatever, just because it's like you, we buy, we tend to buy stuff that we have no idea yeah, we want to try We it. have no idea yeah. what it tastes like. We'll roll the dice. And let's be honest, that's how we, years ago, got E.H. Taylor. I, I got that from a shelf that was a dusty shelf. It's not, it's, it's sorry. I said E.H. Taylor. I didn't mean E.H. Taylor. Um, <laughs> Elmer T. Lee. <laughs> and no, somebody's over there. Anyway. It's in but, the, don't but, even ask cabinet. It's only $50 at the time, let's be honest, so. True. And we had to dust it off. And we're talking 10 years ago, probably. But anyway. Yeah, it's got it. Oh, no. It's actually, yeah. It doesn't matter where it's at. It's just the fact that the point is... Get back here. Quit. Quit. Get it must back. be upstairs in my, in my cabinet. It doesn't. Or the, it's in that corner. The point I was trying to make before Mike got distracted by a squirrel. Squirrel is... Um, sometimes you never know when you buy something. Like, it may, maybe that's going to be the hype. The next generation's hype. Yeah. You know, yeah. or coveted. Man, that's why we bought all those bottles with the little horsey things on them. Yeah, right. Yeah, but it happens. We'll see. We'll see what happens in Tennessee whiskey. We, again, we know nothing really about Tennessee whiskey other than we probably have about 10 bottles in our collection. Well, it's because we've all, we're always going after the Kentucky bourbon yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. So, but um, I don't know. Because we don't like, we normally don't like the Jack Daniels profile, so... Yeah. yeah. 
Well, again, it's Tennessee is not that far away from northern Indiana. So, I mean, we just haven't spent a whole lot of time in the Tennessee whiskey area. Although, we did try to go last year. We were going to go around Thanksgiving. And there, we know there's a Kentucky bourbon trail. But there is a Tennessee, ten, Tennessee whiskey trail. Which, that could be a problem for the kind of clutches that we are. We don't have that. Let's grab it. You know. We'll need a whole new thing of yeah. just... Yeah, I don't know. Well, there's like... There's the... The Texas yes, it's Bourbon whiskey. Trail. There's the Oh, there is a one Texas Bourbon Trail? There yeah, there. there's hmm. anyway. They're, that's, they're the fastest I think they are the fastest growing state in new um, distillery uh, applications. Oh, I think you did yeah. say that with from the Whiskey Tribe guys or whatever. Now mind you, they're a very big state, so there's a lot of room for mm-hmm, that, but mm-hmm. they're their climate, because they go from extreme hot to extreme cold in the yeah. same day, you yes. know, really adds a, a different mix to their to their whiskeys. Yeah. Um, right now, because there's so many new ones, they don't have the age. I mean, you know, they just don't have a, yeah. a, a 10-year product. Nobody has a 10-year product because they haven't been around mm-hmm. for 10 years. Mm-hmm. But their two-year products are like like a four-year product anywhere else. So it'll be very interesting when a lot of those little distilleries become six to eight to ten years Mm -hmm. and see what that climate down there actually produces. Um, So, you know, one of our favorites is Eleanor from the the Whiskey Tribe. So... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, going back to Tennessee whiskey, again, there's a lot to learn about that. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if there's some tips you guys can, can give us on, I don't know, on just tips in general about how to appreciate a Tennessee whiskey or to educate ourselves on Tennessee whiskey. We yeah, learned, leave it in the comments. Yeah, we learned a lot about bourbon. Um, share your knowledge. That's what this whole thing experience is about, just sharing, yeah. talking, giving, you know, it's it's just a reason to strike up a conversation with friends or Mm -hmm. new friends and hopefully all of you people out there who are watching us all you people have friends have friends everyone who's joining us and joining our comments and my 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 tag sticking it's bugging me i see that peripheral (laughs) is you know this brings people together or drives a wedge into them just apart just like are you a republican are you a democrat are you tennessee whiskey or your bourbon whiskey, or maybe your Texas whiskey. But wait, there's Ohio. It's still whiskey, whiskey. no matter what it is, <laughs> as long as it is not vodka. Anyway, because vodka sucks. Anyway, so we got a lot to learn. So we'll although just some of the ones we will drink to just warm up. <laughs> Shut up, really? Shut up. <laughs> I said something the other day about like that's another. There's another reason to drink vodka. I can't remember what it was now. Huh? Anyway. Mouthwash. No, yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, better than so Listerine. We, um, King Snake. I think that's what it says. I don't have my glasses on. King Snake. Yep, it says King Snake. <laughs> Thank you, um, Grumpy Coach. Sorry for the delay in getting this reviewed. We really do appreciate um, yeah. when people um, gift us these types of just whiskeys in general. It's kind of fun because I think people think sometimes, oh my gosh, you and Don are crazy collectors and we have a fun time but some of our friends are like i wonder if you guys have that and they always ask us or whatever so even if we don't have it go ahead and get it because if we have it we will drink through it and we'll need to replace it so whatever you get us we'll get drunk and we'll always don't you gotta cut that part out what we don't get drunk I didn't say we will get drunk. I will say oh, I said it will get, it will get drunk. <laughs> oh, I thought you all get drunk. I was like we don't. That's not our. St- <laughs> well, <laughs> I was like, don't anyway, say that. <laughs> we appreciate we will, everything. As in drink, drink, drunk. No matter what we have <laughs> on the shelf or what's down in the duplicate down here, down. So when this goes out, we put this up there, and then we drink that. It'll all be appreciated. Yeah, for sure. I mean, anyway. Um, Good thing you're pretty. You guys are in northern Indiana. You want to visit us and drink with us. You know, just, uh, I don't know, leave us a comment. Leave us say, a comment. Say, hey. We're, we're always Indiana. looking for drinking friends. Yes, for sure. Um, give us some tips on um, on how to learn more about Tennessee whiskey in the comments. And I almost said, <laughs> sip, sip, it? sips, tips, and tips. what is it? <laughs> Not that. You know what Anders always says? 
more sips, uh, tips, and recipes. 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 Anyway, it has nothing to do with what we're doing here, but because we love Anders and he makes cocktails, he's in Chicago Boy. We might actually link it down in the video below. Um, he's not, got a very good YouTube yeah. channel on bartending um, and mixed drinks. Yeah. Very well produced. Yeah. I should say very well. Oh, it's produced well. Yeah. It's it's very well photographed or videographed. Um, he's quite entertaining and oh. yeah, we like Anders. Anyway, here's the King's. Wait, what did I say? King Snake. <laughs> King Snake and Grumpy Coach. And Grumpy Coach. Cheers. Cheers. You do it. Okay, you do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>